today I've got a clone haul. So just today, a few hours ago, my uni had this vintage fair going on. So I went along and I wasn't sure if I was going to get anything, but I thought I may as well go because I really wanted to see what they had. And they actually had some really nice pieces and yeah, I picked a few things up. I only spent £20 and for what I got, I was literally like, when she said it £20, I was like, okay. She had everything was just £5 each. It was a big bag. Oh my god, I think that bag was as big as me. Yeah, I'm really excited to show you what I bought. I also thought I would style each piece because I feel like with vintage clothes, um, like secondhand clothes, it might be harder to know how to style it basically. Because I've gone in the past things like this and I've bought loads of stuff and then I've never never actually worn it because it doesn't actually fit in with my wardrobe. So today I made sure I was like, right, I'm actually going to wear that. And I thought to myself, right, what will it go with? Because I picked this denim jacket, no, this, de I picked up a denim jacket and I really liked it. But then I thought, well, realistically, how many outfits is it going to go with? And at that moment in time, I could only think of one outfit. And I thought, I'm not buying a jacket just so it goes with one outfit. So all these things, I know are really versatile. And yeah, let's just get into it. So the first three things I got was free for £5, which I thought was really good. And I got free bandanas. So basically, I really like hair accessories. I'll show you how much I like hair accessories. This is just full of hair accessories. This is probably one of my favourite headbands that I own. I really like this one. It's from Primark. Um, you might still stock it, I don't know. Yeah, I do like hair accessories a lot. So I thought I wanted um, more colours. So, you know, it goes with more outfits. So first one that I definitely thought... As soon as I walked in, I spotted it and then at the end I went back to get it and it was this yellow bandana and yeah, I just, I think this would look so cool, like that really good pop colour and I'll show you what it looks like. It's got this really nice um, floral pattern on it. It's like black and white and yeah, that's the first one. I just think it would be like such a good way to add that pop colour. Then the next one I got is this blue one and I was, I was deciding between light blue and dark blue. And I went with this one because I, this is, I swear I don't realise how many people walk across like down this road. Yeah, so I went with the dark blue one just because I thought I'd wear it more often and because you know autumn's coming up. <laughs> I'm more likely to wear this one than the light blue one. Um so yeah, that's that one. And again, it's just got like the black and white floral print. And then the last one I got is a pink one because I love pink and yeah, this has got a different pattern on. Let me quickly unravel it. This one's actually like probably really nice, um, but it's got more paisley, I'd say, pattern on it. But again, it's very, very cute and just looks really nice um, tidying your hair. And you can also tie it around your neck. There's a YouTube video on my channel of me wearing a red one that I owned um, and I have it tied around my neck, like, you know, like that. I feel like an air hostess. So is it with bandages you can do so much with hair, neck, you can tie it around your bag, you can put it like tie it around your jeans, um, so many different things. And the next thing I got is this. Now I was with Victoria and I was like, oh this is nice, but it's like quite out there because it's velvet and it's leopard print. And I love leopard print. Um I've never I've only ever owned like one velvet item I think and that was from like a vintage store uh, it was one of them that Kilo says but it didn't actually fit me properly so I never actually wore it so I wasn't sure about this I thought it's really out there but I tried it on and I'm so glad Victoria got me to try it on because I really really like it and yeah I just like leave it open so like I'd wear like a top underneath like white top maybe or black one and then this is more like a jacket over the top oh, where's Jacob? hi Jacob you didn't see me, but I'm kind of glad about that. So it's really, really cool. And of course, I'll show you how I style it. I'm thinking black skin jeans. I really like this and I'm so glad I tried it on. And it's from Sago Harbour. Petite, how petite. I don't even notice that. I wonder what size it is. Should we see? It doesn't say. Okay, never mind. But yeah, really nice. So this is the leopard print shirt on, and like I said, I would wear it open like this. I really like this outfit. Um, I've just got like a off, like a off the shoulder crop top on, and then these are like one of my favorite pairs of trousers that I own. Uh, they're from Zara. I got them 
I used to wear them in sixth form and I've lost them but then I found them again and yeah I just I think they fit so well yeah I really like how the shirt looks with it it just has that like really just like a just add it just makes outfit a lot more fun I like how obviously this is a bit relaxed so having the fitted top kind of makes it work and yeah and I think the top goes with my hair as well that's what Victoria said so I was like we'll go with it again I'd wear it in probably my black vans a little close up Ew. So the next thing I got, again, I looked at it and I thought that's going to be too long on me, but I was like, I'll try it on. And it's this flannel. I never owned a flannel and I've always wanted to because I feel like they look really cool. You know how like people tie them around the waist? Oh, it's just like, it's cool and effortless. And I thought, oh, I'll just have a look at all the prints, see if there's any that uh, stood out. And this one stood out for me. I don't own like... I don't really own any purple, that's like one colour I just don't gravitate towards. I have like a lilac -y top that I like, but nothing like a dark purple. But I don't know, this one just really stood out. I think, um, well it's, it's like a purpley blue, but more purple than blue. Mm, I don't know actually, I feel like that's a, no it's purple on screen. It's also got red, green, yellow, so you know, I can always mix, mix and match, you know. Oh, bring that yellow out. And I really like it. It is like, I always wear uh, cropped things. And I always like high-waisted trousers and cropped um, jackets. Or if my top's not cropped, I'll tuck it in. But there's just something about this. But I was like, you know what? That's really cool. And again, I feel like black jeans will look really cool with it. Or even like um, light blue jeans will look cool and it's really soft and again great for autumn and winter coming up it's just a good layer piece you could put a hoodie underneath it you can really work you know it's very versatile basically and yeah this is from Bello Bello outdoor quality garment I don't know why I want to know what size it's in what size is it I just I'm just nosy it doesn't say but it's got a little um it's got a little what's it called squirrel on it and yeah i like squirrels and i've only kind of just clocked on that they had a squirrel on it but that's just made it 100 times better and it has pockets as well what more can i say so this is the flannel on and i think it really works well with this lilac top that i was telling you about um yeah i think like the what's that word that i'm thinking of the color palette is like all uh cool tones so you know like purples purples blue cool tones wow that's a uh, a star art knowledge for you there uh, <laughs> imagine if it was wrong i like how the top is a bit shorter so it adds the i don't know adds like the layered effect doesn't it and does it make me look tall who knows maybe hopefully but it's just cool and let me show you it also looks cool tied around my waist and i feel like i'm living the dream like this is the dream that i had i just wanted to own a flannel that could tie around my waist and just look effortless you know and I feel like I've got it finally so yeah really cool and I'm gonna try it on with a, one of the bandanas that I wore to see what that will look like so I'll try that now so I just put in the dark blue bandana and I think it looks so cute um it just adds to that casual relaxed look and yeah so that's the bandana I just think it looks so cute and casual I could put no effort in, but really I have, I've thought about it. But yeah. So the last item I picked up is this jacket. And it's actually the first item that I picked up when I was there. And straight away I was like, oh, that is a bit of me because it's sort of like cropped. And I was like, I love my cropped out, uh, I love my cropped jackets. And I straight away I thought, I probably will wear it as a jacket before I tried it on. I thought I'll probably wear it as a jacket, but I'll see what it looks like buttoned up. And I do prefer it as a jacket. Um, not saying I won't wear it as a top, who knows? But yeah, I don't own anything called work. I think I like I have like a pinafore that I don't wear anymore because it's too big. But um uh, corduroy is something that I've never really dabbed in too much. But I really like this and the colour is like red but like a muted red. So it's not like it's more like a dark pastel red. I'm just gonna go with that. I hate describing colours, so I'm just gonna stop there. But yeah, I also like how when I tried it on, I uh, rolled the sleeves up. It's really casual, but I feel like you can dress it up, dress it down. And yeah, this is from a brand called 
dress barn. And again, like, these, nothing has sizes in, but, oh, it has an extra button. Again, I'll show you how I will style this. And yeah. So this is just one way that I would style this jacket. Uh, I thought I'd show you two ways that you can have the sleeves. That is just like normal button. And then this one is unbuttoned and rolled. Um, kind of just depends what style you want. I feel like this one's more relaxed and chilled. And then, you know, if it was really cold, you might want to just have it the whole way down. I thought I'd just style it with this graphic tee. Um, one of my favourites. Seriously, it's so good. Uh, it's from Shop Tiger's Eye. And I just paired it with black skinny jeans. I would wear my black bands, but they need to go in the wash. So I'm not going to put them on. Um, but yeah, oh, I actually really love this jacket so much. It's cool. I feel like it goes really well with this lipstick as well. So I'm happy about that. Black skinny jeans is probably is what I'd wear most with. Um, I just like how it, like where it ends. And yeah, it like covers your stomach, but not your bum. That is what you want in a jacket. Well, I do anyway. Um, so yeah, and I just think it's a really good fit. So I'm actually really, this, I'm absolutely really happy with this. And you could also wear a hoodie underneath, you know, layer. And that is everything. I really hope you enjoyed this video and maybe it gave you some inspiration. I absolutely love like going vintage shopping because obviously it's really good for the environment to like reuse clothes. And I also like it how, um, no one else would go on in the state, like, no one else is gonna get that jacket. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you went to Primark, about 20 people at uni are gonna have that, at least. But no one's gonna have that corduroy jacket, are they? And if they do, they are lucky. But yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully I will continue making videos while at uni. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you very, very soon. Goodbye.